guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heroes Advent: Ray's Path. So the last place we left off, we were actually just joining Max in the mines to fight some slimes. So uh, you guys are telling me that I may have missed something with Ray. The problem is though, is that auto saves only go up to a certain point, and I cannot go back. So whatever it was with Ray, I missed it. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do anything about it. But what I can do is I can keep sticking with Ray and hopefully accruing some more points with him. So, because a new update dropped and it focuses on Ray. So we're going to have more Ray content. So, I'm eager to get back into that. Alright guys, let's, uh, so yeah. So what I did is I went back to the beach and I chose to go see Ray over helping the croat first. And that didn't make any bit of difference whatsoever. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and join Max. Alright guys, sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes. Let me entertain you and let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Where do you want to go? Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mine's outpost. Let's see. Let's see Max. Wait, wait, wait. I thought I was... What's going on here? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, one second, guys. What, what's going on here? Ah, huh, I think I might have been... Okay, I just have to uh, get to that point. Okay. Let's go there. Alright, let's go talk to Max. Oh, what was that? What was that? Ah, uh, okay. Alright. Throw our trash. Blah. Really? That's great. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, here we go. Yes. Alright, we're done. We're here. Alright, okay. <clears throat> Those little things are pretty hard to deal with. Well, what I mean is it's probably, probably wouldn't listen, is it probably wouldn't listen to anybody's command even if you're the owner. T true, it was rough trying to get it to come with me. Until I learned its name from the owner, which I pretty much forgot by now. Climbing the tree was definitely scarier, though. Heh. <laughs> but you still managed, didn't you? That's all that matters. Besides, most mercs probably ignored this because they had more important things to do. But you decided to risk your livelihood to save something dear to a stranger. That's exactly a step in the right direction. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Max. That means the world to me. So, anything I can help you with? Hmm. Probably not. I know you're eager from that feat. But I've got this place under control for now. I'll investigate the cave a bit later as well. You should go catch up with the others, Cassian. Ah, uh, okay. I'll see you later, Max. See you. Stay safe now. It seems that you're done here. You better check out on the others. Okay. Anything? Cave entrance. Oh. You made your way towards the cave entrance. Oi! Who goes there? State your business. Uh, um, I'm from the guild. I just want to investigate a bit. Oh, are you now? Where's your permit, then, boyo? P permit Yes, this ain't your Vitrum Park for you to just freely loiter about, Sonny. Now, either you come back with a permit or steer clear of this spot. Got it? Uh, okay, okay, I'll leave. Sorry. Where do you want to go? Oi, you daft. Did I not just tell you to go to not go near the cave? No, oh, that's it. You're coming with me. No, no, I'm sorry. I'll leave and I won't come back again, I promise. Hm. Better keep your word, Sonny boy. One step closer and I'll take you away for trespassing. Sheesh. You decided to go to Vitrum Park where the Guardian Crystal was. It was quite easy to find the park given that you could see the crystal from every corner. Like the game is the game is like you're too stupid to decide where you want to go, so I'm going to decide for you. <laughs> the park was divided into two sections, and the, out, the outer and the inner ring. Where do you want to go? This isn't the park. Let's go to the inner ring. There we go. You decided to go to the inner ring park. Almost immediately, you noticed that there were much fewer people around and a lot more mercenaries patrolling the premise. Most of them seemed on high alert. Halt! State your business! Uh, I'm from the Guild. I'm here to meet up with... Yeah, I can see you're from the Guild. But have you any permit or legal paper for business here? Legal paper? Is that really necessary? I'm just here to investigate, after all. Well, look around you, pal. Plenty of people around here do the same, are doing the investigating for you. Now see here. You still seem a little lost, so I'm just going to spell it out for you. This part of Vitrum Park is now a restricted area. Has been since yesterday. What? You think this is some sort of place you can just waltz in and ask for people? Uh, uh, no, of course not. I'm only here because Alex said he might need my assistance, and that's all. Oh, really? But you have no permit, can't even state your business properly, and why would Sir Alex need your help? Actually, how do you even know his name to begin with? You, buddy pal, are being quite sus, I'm see. <laughs> you know what? I'll just leave. Sorry to bother you all. You quickly retreated out of the guard's sight before calling Alex on your phone. Cassian, I'm still in the middle of something here. Speak quickly. 
Um, the guards aren't letting me in, Alex. They're also pretty rude about it. But of course, ugh. I already instructed them to let you through, but they've most likely forgotten. I'm still in the middle of some prepping procedures. Might take a minute or two, but I'll meet up with you at the gate. Uh, all right. You waited a little bit before going back to the guards. You again? Well, now, you can, you just can't cause trouble in any other places, huh? No, wait, I can explain why I'm back. Oh, yeah, you will, buddy pal. How about you speak to this? The guard promptly took a step towards you, only to startle as you heard Alex yelling from afar. Hey, stand down. He's a friend. Master Alex, you know this guy? You think? Did I not instruct you to let him in? I've told you the specifics down to his fur color, and yet you all still couldn't remember. Inconceivable. Uh, um, sorry, Master Alex. Please, come in. Hmm. Come, Cassian. We haven't time to waste. You followed him inside to the inner circle of the park, near the base of the crystal. Thanks, Alex. Hmm? For what? For what you just did. I can't just have them beat you up. That'll jeopardize my only test subject. Uh, okay, still, thanks. You're welcome. Now hurry up, will you? Uh, oh, okay. God, so pretty. You headed further along the ramp, uh, ramp leading up to the base of the Guardian Crystal, which stood majestically against the sky. Whoa! Heh, you'll get used to it. It's very beautiful, and the sound. The sound? Yeah, I always hear it faintly every time I'm in town, almost like a chorus of humming noises. And now that I'm here, I can hear it loud and clear. More than ever, it sounds very beautiful. Interesting. But alas, we're here to work, Cassian, not to stand around admiring auditory hallucinations. Oh, right, I guess not. So what can I help you with, actually? Well, you can help me figure some things out. Like what? Did something happen to the crystal? Oh, no, surprisingly, nothing at all. There's not even a single thing wrong with it. Whatever deharmonized the crystal that night is now gone. So it can, what, stabilize and repair itself? Uh-huh. The, G the GC as a whole is still quite a mystery to us. We merely built it based on the prototype which tried to replicate the Akai Tree's protective force field and... And? The Spring Sorcerer's guidance. Without her, this thing wouldn't have worked at all. I spent the past years trying to replicate her works and dissecting her blueprints. I've made some progress, but it's still far from a 100% replication. Is it too complicated? Not complicated, per se. It just requires a lot of fine-tuning, which means you've got to have some kind of attunement to begin with. But for her, it came very natural as if she had some sort of innate affinity towards crystals. I've heard that she could talk to them as if they were alive and sentient beings. Maybe that's what makes the difference. Hmm. Uh, talk to them, huh? Well, either way, I do have some theories to test. Can you touch the crystal? Uh, touch it? Yeah. Just go up to the GC and touch it. Uh, don't worry, it won't hurt a bit. See? He reached an arm to the crystal's base and lightly nudged it. Nothing happened. Hmm, uh, okay. You reached out towards the crystal. Almost immediately, you could feel a fuzzy and tingly sensation, which grew stronger the closer your hand got to the crystal. Uh, are you supposed to feel this? Just touch the damn crystal. He pushed your hand towards it, and without warning, a surge of energy coursed through your veins, rendering you shocked and dazed. Whoa! Sh -sh -sh you tried to sound off, but all that could come out of your mouth was stuttering gibberish. Try as you might, you couldn't pull away from the crystal either. It was like being, shrunk it was like being stuck to a magnet. A alex help! Oh, what in the maker's name? C crap, hold on! The wings grabbed you by the waist and yanked hard. Ugh, you're so heavy! He heaved several times before making another pull. The force this time was just barely enough to separate you from the Guardian Crystal, whose radiance seemed to flicker for a brief moment before going back to normal. Huh. Huh. Damn, I'll be! I didn't expect that reaction from the crystal. Uh, sorry about that, Cassian. Uh, it's, uh, okay. You tried to speak, but your with your tongue still shaking uncontrollably, you failed to even articulate the first words you had in mind. Shwaka, monsieur. Hmm? Ah, yes, sir. Why are you speaking like that? Try to speak normally. Shuri. You decided to take a deep breath to calm yourself. Here, have some water. Alex handed you his bottle. S sta You drink first. I can't understand you. You nodded and drank up. You felt strangely dehydrated after the incident. You rested for a while until the tingly sensation subsided and you could speak normally again. Phew. Phew. Better. 
Yeah, sorry. How are you feeling? Well, I mean, what did that feel like? It's like getting zapped by lightning, like a sudden flow of energy just burst through me. I see. Hmm. Yeah, that's a common thing for magic wielders. People would utilize the energy surge from crystals to reinvigorate their power. The shock from the guardian crystal tends to be bu tends to be a bit much, though, as they'd so they'd switch to smaller energy crystals instead. Interestingly, you must be an empty shell with what your minuscule amount of with that with what your minuscule amount of magi. Hence, the GC would compensate would compensate with a big burst of energy, like a broken dam unleashing its water down the stream. What you've experienced just now was system shock, where the surge of energy was simply too much to bear and quite literally fried your system. <sighs> I thought that'd be more like Bioshocked. Ba -doom <laughs> Semantics. Well, still, what does that mean for me? Can I not ever do magic now? No, it's quite the opposite, actually. I think you might be ready to learn some basic magic. Huh. Uh, but I thought you just said my system was fried. It's just a figure of speech, meaning you've just got... You just got majorly zapped, as long so as long as you're still alive, then the rest about you is unaffected. Anyways, I get what I needed. I got what I needed. You may drop by the, my lab next time around, and I'll teach you some basics. All right. Do you need anything else? Hmm. No. I think I'm all right on my own for now. There's still some diagnostics I have to run on the GC's frequencies before I can wrap things up. You should probably go check on the others if you'd like. Ah, uh, okay then. Uh, see you later, Alex. Uh-huh. Do be careful, though. I will. <sniffs> you left Alex to his devices and returned to the inner park entrance. The guards didn't seem to bat an eye at you this time around. There wasn't much else for you to do here, either. Looks like you're done here. Better check up on the others. Okay, what's this? There's nothing left for me to do here. I should go back with the others. Uh, Private broadcast. Who we got? Next, uh, Cody. Where's Cody? He's not at the markets. Yes, Cassian. Is that you? Uh, hello? Uh, he hung up back again. Aw. Okay. Let's message everyone else dialing. Cassian, uh, I'm in the middle of something right now. Uh, just come over here if you want to help. Alex. I'm quite busy, Cassian. Just go here if you want to help. Raven. He didn't pick up. Oh, interesting. Huh. What's going on with Ray? What you doing, Ray? Oh, uh, let's go back there and we'll see if there's anything else on the board. No? Okay. Um, uh, reminder, crystal carrier. You have zero messages. Okay, so to the market. You decided to go to the market district, which was, which was made as straightforward as can be with the map function. I do like these custom backgrounds. These are really nice. Okay, you can see everyone's tails and such. You arrived at a very crowded at a very crowded marketplace. There were a lot of stalls and merchants hawking many different types of wares, from meat, from meat, spices, vegetables, to trinkets, or even weapons. <laughs> It made your way through the crowd and eventually spotted a familiar bear spe speaking to one of the vegetable stall owners. Hi, Cody. Oh, hello, Cassian. What are you doing here? Me? I'm just doing, I'm doing my own investigating, asking stalls and merchants if they saw anything suspicious. Uh, uh, okay, anything to report? Nothing so far, I don't think. All the stalls were closed pretty early on since everyone is still recovering from the incident, with the exception of a few bars and weaponsmiths. Asked them too, but they didn't notice anything strange until the chaos hit the streets. Ah, so nothing noteworthy after all? Yeah, it seems so. It's pretty peaceful here, at least. I don't know about the others, though. You could always call them on Alex's phone to talk about it, right? Hell yeah, yeah, but, um, I, uh, I still don't really know how to operate this thing. And I just don't want to break it, break it if I fiddle with it too much. Huh, I just don't want to disappoint Alex again. Oh, wait, what do you mean, again? Oh. I think I'll be fine here by myself, Cassian. You should go check on the others if you want. Huh, alright, then I'll see you later then? Yeah, I'll see you back at the guild. See ya. Flee ya. And with that, he moved on to another stall. It seems there's nothing more that you can do here. Gotta go back to the guild then. He patrolled around the city a bit more before going back to the guild and, me and meet the others at the Sky Garden. You can see the others already gathered at the, at, at the place Alex specified. Max was talking to Ray, Cody seemed pensive as ever, while Alex himself was tinkering with his gadgets as always. Hey, good evening, guys! Ah, Cassie, and you're back! That was your first official day as a mercenary? It was good, I guess? I just got heckled a lot whenever I entered the high security location. Well, that might be because you need to wear the guild's badge. Probably, but that one guy at the Crystal Park did recognize me as a guild person. 
They all just said something about needing a permit to be around those places. I see. Don't worry, Cassian. I'll get those for you tomorrow, along with some other gear. Oh, alright. Sounds good. Well, what else did you do, Cassian? Took any requests? Yep, I completed my first request. As someone at the beach got their pet stuck up a tall palm tree, so I got up there and saved it. I don't know why most people didn't seem to bother with it. Ha, huh, that commotion, huh? Truth be told, this wasn't the first time they got their croat stuck up the tree. Probably won't be the last, either. I can see why everyone just kind of ignored the request. I guess, but what if nobody took it at all? Would the poor thing just be stuck up there for days and nights? That doesn't sit right with me. I think the owner just got paranoid, Cassian. I've seen the pet getting up and up at weird places and still managed to get down some time later. See? So it's not exactly a big deal. Nah, I don't say that, Alex. Even if what you said about the croat is true, it's still a good thing you took that request, Cassian. Giving that owner a peace of mind is still a big deal. Yeah, I agree. That person must have been thankful afterwards, which is always nice. Well, nice job, Cassian. Today, saving pets, and tomorrow, saving the world. <laughs> well, thanks, Ray. He's still calling you that. Well, what, Ray? I don't mind. Fits my name better anyway. So, we're calling you Ray instead of Rye now? <laughs> you don't have to. I mean, it's totally up to you guys. Since when did you guys call him that? Cody was the first to call him that way. We just kind of followed along. Huh? What? Why me? I mean, uh, uh sure, I, I called him Rye when we first met. I just didn't know how to pronounce his name. Really? Why is that? He probably just got confused between between Svobodian and common pronunciation rules. Alex, please! I made a fool of myself enough already! Now, now, it's fine, guys. Both Rye and Ray are fine. Just go with whatever suits you best. I'll just stick to Rye. Yeah, hard to beat force of habit at this point. Yeah, same, I guess. Ah, uh, alright then. Huh. So, you guys hungry? I'll take some food from the tavern. That'd be appreciated, Cody. Thanks. Uh huh. You guys wait here. Cody left his seat and went on his way. Hmm. 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 Uh, so, how are things, guys? Eh, the Guardian Crystal is fine. It could be better, it could be worse. Nothing unusual at the beach, as you might have heard. The old mine is safe, too. Just spent the afternoon keeping the slime population in check. Hmm, good, good. Everybody's like, what the fuck do we talk about? Cody seems kind of unmotivated, don't you think? I bet he is. He's way out of his comfort zone. You think I'm not way out of my comfort zone? Well, you too, but at least you still have some interest in the work. It's been a while since Cody wore his armor. I think he's getting too comfortable doing his kitchen stuff now. Hey, whatever makes him happy, man. Yeah, but the Guildmaster expected us to go as a team. Really? I don't recall him saying that at all. Well, maybe not verbatim, but he is implying that we should work as a team, so here we are. It's okay, just give him some time. I think Cody will come back around and we can have fun again, just like we used to. Fun? Really, Rye? Is that all you ever think about? Uh, uh I mean, I'm sorry. Whatever, I'm not even mad, just a bit disappointed. Uh... You sighed to yourself as everybody fell silent for a long time, until Cody returned with the food. He did look quite happier, at least. Here you go, here you go, guys! Some stew I made! Sorry for the for, sorry for the wait! Thanks, Cody. These look delicious. You seem to be in a better mood, Cody. <laughs> well, cooking always makes me happy. You, you've always, you always looked happy when cooking, even back then. I guess that means I'm a cooking hard, eh? Alex quickly grabbed a bowl and poured some stew for himself as Cody set to the pot, set the pot on the table. Ah, finally, some good fucking food. <laughs> alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully we'll be getting some new Ray content in the next episode. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye